this is Tori the model. I'm going to go to a photo shoot later today, but someone had asked me, sorry, I got an email. Um, someone had asked me if I could talk about how I got into modeling or any suggestions. So I say it started in like seventh grade and I was like approached because they're like, everyone's like, you're so tall, like you could be a model. And then I went to one of the events that was like, oh, come to these events, like for models. And it was all like, oh, like you're in the top four. And I hated the judgment part of it. Like at that age, I was in like seventh or eighth grade. And I was like, I'm already struggling with my identity. I don't want to like be compared to anyone else. Like I just want to be myself. Like I, I want to be, be who I am, look who I am. So I did not go into modeling and I just did basketball, volleyball, track, AAU, club. That was my thing. School, all through college, like, and everyone would always come up to be like, oh, you're like a supermodel. You could, you should do modeling. And I was always just kind of like, eh. And um, about six months ago, I started to get my son, who's four, I wanted to get him into modeling. And everywhere I went, they were like, well, you should just get into modeling. So, and then he'll learn from you and he can get into it as well. So I started doing it and my suggestion, and I'm just being flat out with you real right now. Um, it was kind of hard because like before I never posted selfies. I always had other people in my pictures. Not that I like, I liked who I was, but I wasn't just gonna be like, oh, look, look at my, look at my face. And then once I started like actually getting pictures taken of myself, I was just kind of like, okay, I have to accept any little flaw that I have because it's just me. That's what people are looking at. That's that picture. So um, I think that's the hardest part about modeling is you have to accept every single little thing about yourself and just like be okay. Like, oh, that's who I am. That's what makes me unique. You don't have to be like the perfect person. Uh, and that also goes into like, if you're looking to go into modeling, like, yeah, um, going into modeling, if you are the perfect person and you have like the perfect body, the perfect face, like it does make it easier. You're, like you're more versatile, more, you can do more things, but no matter what you look like, there's a place for you to do some kind of promotion or modeling. You just have to find what your specialty is, what your niche is and where you belong. Um, so for me, I'm still kind of figuring it out. Um, I've done runway, I've done some catalog work, I've um, done a few different things. I've even tried a little bit of acting. So I'm trying to just figure out what I want to do, but I would say to get started, if you um, have a daughter or you are personally trying to get into modeling, I would ask around your area and see if there's any organization. That's what I did. I volunteered for the Columbus Fashion Week and ended up meeting everyone because I shadowed the head photographer who knew everyone, introduced me to anyone, and that opened. Like you, you'll never know unless you try. So if you go out and you meet everyone and you just put yourself out there, like all you can do is like, not be any worse off like you hear that all the time than you were before like it is a little bit scary and you just kind of have to like be yourself like whoever you are like be yourself because people are gonna like you for who you are like they can see like if you are uncomfortable or um, whatnot so photo shoot today I will bring you along with me it's gonna be so much fun I was in a South Asian fashion show a few months ago and I made friends with the designer who owns the boutique and she's wanting to do some promotions so I'm super excited and it's gonna be a great time I hope this is helpful let me know if it's not let me know if there's anything else that you want to know and there's like more specific things like when I actually gets into modeling what I like what I don't like what's hard what's easy so just like let me know what you want to know I know it's just kind of a lot so thank you hey guys I'm on my way to the shoot my sister-in-law is coming with me as well and uh, yeah, so it's raining again, and it's always raining when I do shoots. So, it's a dreary day, I work tonight. Rough, 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 rough.
on today. I'm about to go to work. I am looking like the most extra worker ever. Thanks guys. Hey guys, just got off work. I'm gonna get an hour of sleep and then I have another photo shoot slash video shoot. We did a photo shoot yesterday and then we're doing another video with a different photographer today. Um, so I'm super excited, but I'm so tired. Anyone feel me on the tiredness? Who goes on no sleep to do what they love and to grind? Like, grind. Who grinds? I try to grind. I don't know if I call it grinding, but I try. I don't sleep. I don't know if that means grinding, but I don't sleep. So, that's one step, I guess. Ooh, I definitely just thought I was recording and wasn't. Ah. So anyway, I'm gonna go upstairs and take all this makeup off and then sleep for an hour and put it all back on for another shoot, the same, similar thing, maybe a different lip color, and for a video, whatever, we already talked about that. Um, but then debating on how much time I have afterwards, so I keep touching my hair. Um, we'll deba de 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 debate, decide, decide on whether or not that I wear this makeup to work again and look like a crazy person. Like literally, I would walk into patients' rooms or to my colleagues and then be like, are you a movie star? <laughs> like, yes, yes I am. Okay, this is day two, and we're heading to go to this video shoot. Um, <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs>